Hey guys, I thought I would do a quick video to show you my um, Tory Burch Thea crossbody wallet. Uh, I've had it for a few months and I really like it. I looked around for different wallet on chains and wallet crossbodies and I like this one because it's the roomiest. Um, well, one of the roomiest. I, actually, the Proenza, Proenza Schuler is also pretty roomy, but um, this was available at the store and for the, uh, the I think it's the PS1 <clears throat> wallet, on, uh, wallet on chain, I would have to order it and I just wanted to get it quickly. Um, so, oh, and there's another one by Tory Burch that has a chain strap, which, you know, makes it dressier, but this is roomier. And as you know, I have big phones, so I thought this was more functional. So right now I have it loaded up with uh, how I carried it uh, today, actually. And um, I'll just show you the exterior quickly. It's made of a pebbled leather. And of course it has the Tory Burch logo. I like it because it is, it's not gold. It's, it's very uh, subtle, which I prefer. And it comes with a leather strap. It's adjustable and it's, it's quite long. I mean, it's, it can, you can adjust it to a short length, long length, and you can wear it with the strap or you can unhook these. These are small, uh, clasps. So you cannot loop the strap through anything to shorten it. Uh, so I actually added a key fob. I probably will just put a silver, key loop on it, but I, I did this when I was experimenting with it quickly and I've just left it on since then. But uh, I'll show you in a minute how I adjust that. And I like this because I, I put it in my work bag and then if I have to run errands after work or I'm going to dinner, I don't want to carry my big bag, I can just take this out. So this is the front. The sides are a metallic silver and the back has a slip pocket, which is handy for items that you want to have quick access to, including a phone. So I'll open it up. This is exactly how I had it. Um, there are two sections. This is the first accessible section when you open it, and it has one back slip pocket and then two larger gusseted pockets with eight card slots. So right now I've got a bunch of coupons here. I usually have to carry them with me because I always forget them. And right now in this section I have a bunch of receipts and then I put my less commonly used cards here. I do that because this section, this zipper section really serves me as a wallet section. So I just put everything that I, I need quick access to and that I want quite secure in this section. And then right now I have my phone in here and it's very large, it's the Galaxy Note, and it goes here, it can fit in this pocket too. And then this second section, which is secured by a zipper, uh, and has this lovely, it's a sturdy uh, zipper pull, which I like, and it's got the Tory Burch logo on it. Uh, this easily opens up to this larger section. And this is actually where I put my commonly used cards. There's a slip pocket, I've got cash in here. Um, and then my commonly used uh, debit and credit cards and some other cards. And it's got this section and this section. Both of them can fit the phone like that. And then like that. It's tight right now because in this section right now I actually have <laughs> a compact and a lipstick. And I don't always carry these in here, but where I was going, I, I just wanted to have access to them. I usually actually put change in here and then a few items. I've got a Bluetooth, I've got a pen. This is a space pen, I, I, I love it. And change, as you can see, and a paper clip. <laughs> um, now, the, I, I just use this as a wallet section so that if I you know, if I've got my cash here, I have this space to put my change, or if I need to use my card, everything is right here. So that's why I organize it that way. Now, you can also fit keys. This is uh, my key case. You can fit keys in here. Um, if I found it a little bulky to put the makeup and the keys in the case in this bag, 
it closes, but it's very tight. Uh, but generally, without a case, the keys should fit fine. And mine are quite bulky. I have two uh, security fobs. But without the makeup, I'll show you how it can fit. I'll put the phone in here, and then I will put the keys in here. And this is going to be bulky, but I can do it. I, this is, I'm not worried about it stretching. If it does, it does. I, I'm really using this, uh, yeah, so it does close. It's bulkier that way, but it's definitely doable. All right, and you can wear it a few ways. Let me, I'm gonna take out the keys right now, because to be honest with you, I often put the keys in my pocket, but if I don't have a pocket, I can put them there. Um, and actually, before I show you how you can wear it, I'll show you another way that I use it. And uh, if you want quick access to your cell phone, you can just shove it in here. So even this big note phone, uh, I can put in here. All right, I'm not sure if the iPhone 6 Plus would fit just because I think it's longer than this phone. But again, it'll fit inside the phone as well. And I only do this when I need really quick access to the phone. So I will show you how it's worn. So you can wear it as a clutch like this. I, I don't, it's not very dressy. I think the side being the silver and the zipper don't make it that dressy, but you can if you want to. And you can uh, add the hooks. I'll try to do that really quickly if I can. And as you can see, you can't, the, the, the rings are too small for you to be able to loop a strap through. Okay, but you can wear it like this. So this is very long on me and I'm kind of tall. Now this is the key fob that I put on. I'm gonna remove this and just put a, a loop and actually it's supposed to be on the back. But it kind of serves as a strap extender as well. Uh, you can wear it cross body like this. So it's really, you know, it's great. You can have it like this or like that. And then you can shorten it you can just loop the extra strap underneath the flap, but I find that it's awkward when you open it, it just unravels. So what I do is I take this, and I know other people do it too, with some sort of loop, but I just do that. And then I hook this, this one on the ring right here. Okay, and I usually have this in the back, so I, I that's, that's not exactly how I wear it. But that, this way, if you want to wear a short bag, you've got it. Okay, so anyway, just wanted to show this to you. I really like it a lot. I like it because it's a little bigger and roomier than a lot of the wallet on chains. And the price is not bad. I think it was two something. Okay, so compared to, you know, anywhere from 800 to you know 1400 for some of the other ones so it's a good one to use every day i don't worry about it getting beat up too much or even stretched out all right well that's it thanks for watching and have a good day or evening